uh, January 2024, um, first video this year. I'm going to share some uh, a couple of patches for the Stump Excel uh, for a couple of gigs that I've uh, done recently. When I do some gigs, I tend to create some sounds and I, and I share uh, the patches on the Line 6 community page. Obviously, you can find all the links in the pinned comment below. And uh, as always, as I'm making sounds, I make a video. It's, it's a good excuse to make some content. So um, the first gig I did was uh, to do with a funk band. It was an a eight piece with three horns, uh, a bit like lettuce, James Brown type stuff. And uh, this is the patch. I, used, I actually used an amp for that. Um, I used an amp for that gig. So the amp and the reverb in this patch are just for reference, so to speak. So um, the first, the first, um, the first block is a compressor. It's like the Lux compressor. Then I have a, like a slight overdrive because sometimes there will be some little riffs like stuff like that, you know, pentatonic riffs. And then uh, I have a block that is more like a solo. So then I have a delay quarter note tap classic, you know, it's most useful, just to add some ambience. And also I have a phaser, which I needed to do some kind of more 70s riffs, kind of. A kind of 70s type of, of uh, comping. So then I have an auto one in the chain. I tend to use it with a compressor. It's quite uh, uh, quite low and dark, so to speak, because it was more for some riffs that were in, in the in the music. And uh, yeah, so that's that's that patch. Uh, the other patch again is to do with Bowie, David Bowie music. Uh, and so I have a compressor and a first bank. Of a compressor in that first bank, then I have a slightly overdriven. This is more because it was in ears, uh, the, the gig was within ears, the amp actually is the amp that I used, and uh, obviously it's more martially because that's the sound. I should have probably used it a Les Paul. I don't have my Les Paul anymore, I only have a 335. I will eventually get something like a dual on marker guitar because I feel that it occasionally creeps up like the old gig where that's needed, so I will definitely look into getting something like that. But this is kind of like a Martian style clean, so to speak. Then I have a compressor to even things out a bit. Then I have an overdrive. And then there's a boost again for solo. Um, another sound that was needed was a phaser. And then a chorus. Um, that's like modern love type stuff. And then there is the very famous, this is in mono though, this is the very famous, you know, you know, the let's dance sound. Uh, even though the, the original one is in stereo, I only had one channel for electric and one channel for acoustic. So uh, I decided to go for the mono version of, of let's dance. So obviously it should sound something like. So and that's the idea really, um, that's the idea. Uh, I have a watt pedal and a volume pedal connected. It's the whole tone uh, Soul Press 2, which I really like. Um, I have a wireless, which I will change because I don't find this very. I find that uh, I'm not sure if it's just me, but like the the, the Wi-Fi, the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, is not enough anymore. You need more. Um, it seems like a quite quite like a crowded uh, frequency, so it's. You need a wireless that has more than just that frequency. 
Um, yeah, so that's that. Just wanted to share also a little, a little trick that um, I often use to make these sounds, uh, and it's a trick that has been around also for a while. The first time I saw it was uh, with uh, like Scott Anderson, he used to use a looper uh, at the end or the front. I, I tend to use it obviously at the front, uh, you know, just just after the guitar is the first pedal. You could probably use the first block of uh, the, the the stomp, but obviously you'd be losing the block. I wouldn't use the uh, the looper during the gig unless I really need the looper. But usually what I do, I put a looper at the front and then I will just play a riff that I know I'm trying to find the sound for, so to speak. So let's say if I'm playing a... Doesn't have to be perfect. So on, you get the idea. So I'm basically trying to um, to free up my hands so I can just make a sound like a sound engineer would do, so to speak. And then obviously the next thing I want to do is just to test if it feels good. <laughs> That's just an idea on how to get a sound. And there's a little trick for, for you to do it quicker, because especially like if you have uh, like many gigs or, or you have to put together a, a certain amount of sound for a gig very quickly, uh, this is a good, a, a good way not to do, you know, to play a little bit and then try to find the sound, play it again, try to find the sound. This is a, just making a sound like a sound engineer would make where, you know, his hands are just free to to turn knobs, so to speak. Um, excellent, I hope this was of any value to you, and I hope that uh, if you found any value, please share it through social media or with your friends, uh, and uh, check out all the links in the description, and uh, hopefully we'll soon uh, find a bit of time to make some more videos, especially the, the, the instructional stuff that seem to be a bit more popular, rather than sounds that seem to be a lot of you know, a lot of uh, patches and the internet floating around anyway. But as I said, to me, this is a good way to to relearn how to make content, so to speak. Um, yeah, uh, excellent. Leave a comment if you wish. Take care. Bye-bye.